for gas very important is actually understanding the power demand. We have gas contracts based on prices and volumes, but of course the temperature outside makes a difference. The volume which is then delivered to the customer can be influenced by the temperature. We are trading, so buying and selling gas. We are purchasing gas from the large producers, from the Russians, Norwegians, Dutch. LNG changed our market significantly. So in the past, uh, we purchased most of the volumes via pipeline. Now we have the opportunity to purchase volumes also globally. It's pretty interesting, but also challenging from a data perspective to understand and forecast the market. Mostly that's market-related data, like trade data, or it's fundamental data on gas flows or on LNG ships traveling the world. But on a human basis, you just cannot understand all the data. We're actually looking for a way to get all the data together in one place. The data lake came up when we started investigating what would a future solution be. We have brought a lot of our trade-related data into the cloud. Uh, that means that we can analyze how markets have behaved, how liquidity or volatility has actually developed, but we could potentially also use that to automate some of our trading activities. We split our activity in different timelines. So you see an idea, you analyze it, and you describe your business case. And when it comes to executions, then you need really live data, so you need the best available data. Because you set your thresholds, you want to get into a position at a certain price. And if you reach a price, you have to be fast. In the past, it took us days to get data. Now all these data are available continuously in the data lake. This is a very practical example. How do we manage commodities um, uh, real time? Um, this is an LNG ship where you can transport gas in a fluid um, state from uh, one continent maybe to another one. When you put the gas into the ship, you go and uh, you have your destination. Along the way, we can track the ship with real-time sensor data. We can put this into a data lake and we can see with then where the ship is going, how the progress is, and maybe we can also monitor if prices are somewhere else better and we have better conditions and also better uh, demand. So and then we can reroute the ships and we can optimize our portfolio with this technology. We have now really an advanced solution which is very flexible, helps also the customers to completely steer and govern and the whole end-to-end -end process. One of the elements is actually providing numbers. The other elements is actually to make sure that we also understand how we behave and that we are compliant with all relevant rules and regulations. Compliance is critical for any trading organization because it actually sets the standard for operations. Today, uh, we have shorter lead times and so we can grab more opportunities.